For Janice Dean, Christmas means remembering her childhood in Canada, from maple syrup to Boxing Day. The journey home reminds her why it's important to never forget your roots. I've lived in New York for close to 20 years, but I grew up in Canada. I was born in Toronto, grew up in Ottawa, Canada for most of my childhood. And the thing I remember most about Christmas was the snow, first of all. Ottawa is one of the coldest capitals in the world. So of course, when you've got cold air during the wintertime season, you're bound to have a lot of snow. And I remember a lot of days I would come home and I would see the weather forecast and the meteorologist would say, oh, you know, be prepared. Tonight we're gonna get over a foot of snow. Back home in Canada, it was the metric system, so it was in uh, centimeters so or in meters. So the snow would be in the meters. And I always used to think to myself, how do they know how much snow we're going to get? Being a meteorologist now, I know that sometimes they do get it wrong, but when they get it right, oh, the snow the next day sometimes will be piled high as our rooftop. So I remember winters being cold and a lot of snow. And then of course, growing up in Ottawa, there was ice skating. I mean, if you're a kid, you're on skates pretty much right out of the gate. You have to know how to skate and hockey is a big wintertime sport in Canada. So a lot of young men and women are on their skates on the Rideau Canal, the longest outdoor skating rink in the world. I remember that, of course, growing up. We would always, every season, go out on the Rideau Canal and sharpen our skates, and then there would be hot chocolate and donuts, beaver tails afterwards. Uh, beaver tail is sort of like a long donut with whatever topping you like on top of it, chocolate or icing or icing sugar or cinnamon. So those are the things that I remember. Christmas, of course, was an exciting time as a kid. Just opening up the box, we didn't have a, a a tree that we would cut. It was always, you know, the box tree, the, the artificial tree, but that was very special to me because we had a tree that was very, very old. My father had this artificial tree when he was growing up. So that in and of itself was a big event to open up this beautiful tree that we would put together. And I remember, you know, you'd have to put the branches into the, the wooden peg. And sometimes we'd actually have to carve those little pegs that the branches would have to go into because it was so old, but we never wanted to get rid of it. And then of course the decorations. I still have decorations that are probably close to 50 or 60 years old, uh, decorations that my father grew up with and just opening up the ornaments brings back a flood of memories for me. And I, and I love showing those old ornaments to my kids. They not, never got to meet my father. He died a little bit after they were born. So it does remind me of my father and, and getting together and putting up the Christmas tree. It's such a special time. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.